it's a hard life, you know? Just always in the spotlight. I gotta, you know, deal with all my fans. Celebrity status is <laughs> Tina, Tina's already over me. Oh, Tina's here on a Tuesday too. That's what, I'm like, what's going on today? All sorts of, are you, you're not normally here on Tuesdays, are you? Tuesdays? Because of yesterday, okay. That's, I'm like, we have a full house today. All right, well, just, you know, more fans. It's fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get going. Enough of my blabbering. What? what? Oh, no, I'm going to be here, not on there. Is that okay? I'm here in person? Okay. Now they're trying to get rid of me. What's going on here? <laughs> all right. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to all of you joining us virtually. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for being patient while we get set up today. Uh, not our normal week. We had yesterday off, so I hope everyone was able to get uh, an extra day of rest if you need it. And uh, here we go. Four days. Short week, right? So... Um, let's jump right into it. The quote for today says, you only fail when you stop trying. You only fail when you stop trying, right? And uh, I think that's just a good reminder that, you know, failure is really how you define it, right? It's, it's based on your expectations and what you deem as success. But according to this quote, as long as you're trying, as long as you're pushing forward, taking that next step, right? Then you're never a failure, right? We're not supposed to walk through life all perfect and no issues, no stumbles. What fun would that be, you know? So as long as you're, I mean, maybe it'd be fun. I don't know. It's not my life though. I can tell you that much. <laughs> There's plenty of failing <laughs> or plenty of stumbling. Right? And then continue trying. Get back up again. Learn. Grow. Make the effort. So you only fail and you stop trying. And that's what we do here, right? We keep trying. Whether it's with our daily stretches, our mindfulness, maybe our cognitive activities or our speech therapy. We're always pushing ourselves forward, challenging ourselves, and continuing to try. And according to this quote, and in my book, that right there is a success, right? All right, so let's keep trying. We'll do that today. We'll do our stretches. We'll follow it with some mindfulness and uh, we'll have a wonderful Tuesday, a very full, busy Tuesday. I love it, this is great. All right, guys, for you at home, let's get to your starting position. <sighs> Maybe I got a little too much rest this weekend. I got some energy to burn, apparently. I don't even have coffee today, you guys. Back on the no coffee tip. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> All right, go ahead, come to your starting positions. Bring your feet flat to the floor. Put a bend in the knees. Have your hips heavy. There you go, Carol. Nice. Sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders down. And we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale, through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Open those eyes back up. Come on back into the space that you're in. And we'll get going with our stretches. So as always, we'll start with our legs. Bring those lower extremities straight out in front of you as best as you can. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet here. Good. So taking those toes away from the body and back towards, away and towards. And as always, keep in mind, right, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, 
maybe one side or the other. I invite you to close the eyes and then see if you can watch as the body moves energetically. Right? So pairing that intention or visualization with the action. Good. And as always, keep the breath moving, get the energy flowing. <sighs> Just start to wake up on this fine Tuesday. All right, when you're done with that, keep those legs nice and long, but you can rest the heels down on the floor. And then you'll draw your toes back in towards your body. Lengthen the spine here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, gently reach down in the direction of your toes. Exactly, get those spirit fingers going. Nicely done, Lou. Good, now maybe your hands come towards your toes. Maybe they end up there, maybe they're on your shins or your knees. Just finding the spot in your body where it feels best. And then continue to breathe. Breathe into sensation. Feeling into the back of the legs here. Abs, the hamstrings. And just know, right? This is a, a good reminder of our quote today. None of this is failure. It's all about trying, exploring, knowing that it might look a little different day to day, and that's okay. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up. Have a seated. Good. Kind of bend in the knees again. Bring your feet flat to the floor. And let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Good. All right. Getting into our inner thighs, our hip adductors. We're going to take our knees and gently draw them away from one another. Good. So just opening up the muscles of the inner thighs here. Gently drawing them away from each other. You can use the muscles of the hips and the legs to pull the knees away from each other. Or if available, using a hand or maybe a forearm to just push into the leg, right? Adding a little extra pressure here, maybe deep in the stretch. And then just continue to breathe, relax the shoulders, release tension in the jaw. Hmm. And continue breathing softly in, softly out. All right, nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly come on back towards seated. Draw those knees towards one another. Return to midline. And let's take a breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're going to get into the back of our hips here. So with your feet flat, hips heavy, spine long, take a breath in. And then we'll bring our right leg up into the belly here. Gently squeezing it into your, in towards your torso. And then just breathing into the back side of that hip and leg. You can stay here or bring this leg up and over, maybe changing the direction of the muscle. See if there's a difference in sensation. And then just continue moving the breath. Noticing what shows up. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, just let that leg go. Nice job, you guys. We'll switch sides, come back to midline, take a breath in. And then we'll bring our left leg up into the body. Good. Again, starting to notice what you feel on the back side of the left side this time. You can stay here or take the leg up and over, crossing the other one. And then again, just notice what comes up, what do you feel, maybe notice what you don't feel, right? No right or wrong here. Breathing, listening to your body. Good. Take 
take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower the left out leg go. Wow. Nice job, you guys. Breath to reset here in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice. All right, we are done with the legs, so let's move into the trunk now. Have your feet flat, feel your hips heavy, lengthen the spine a little bit, sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, gently twist over to the right. Good. Now again, bringing your hands to a position of your choice, maybe your leg, maybe the chair. And then continue to breathe. Inhale as you sit up tall, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently deepen the twist. Maybe bringing the gaze over the right shoulder. And just continue moving the breath. Softly in. Softly out. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Come on back through center. Come on, let's switch sides once more. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, gently twist over to the left. Again, hands in a place of your choice. And then continue to breathe. Create space and length as you inhale. And as you exhale, move into the space created. Gently deepen the twist. Maybe the gaze comes over the left shoulder. And just continue to ease into the stretch, breathe into sensation. So I take another inhale here. And as you exhale, come on back through center. Ah. Ah. Just ringing out of the spine. It's always my favorite affirmation. <laughs> All right, breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job, you guys. Keeping those feet and legs exactly where they're at, we're going to start to round forward. So bringing our hands down to the floor. Maybe they rest on your feet, maybe they reach the floor. And then just start to breathe into the low back. Allowing the muscles of the lumbar spine to softly open up here. Tissue gently stretching away from itself. If it feels okay, you can take your head down towards the floor, releasing the weight of the spine, further opening the back body. But if there's any compression of the breath or any restriction, just back off a little bit. All right, finding a spot that works in your body where you can continue to move the breath while releasing the muscles. Good. Continue breathing here, softly in, softly out. Good. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly roll back on up towards seated. Good. Give yourself a minute here. Let the spine come back in line. Let your blood pressure settle. And let's take a breath to reset. Softly in through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Nice job, you guys. Feel free to come on back, open the eyes. We're now going to get into the front of our body here. So once again, from that starting position, lengthen through the spine, breathe in. And then we're going to gently start by squeezing our shoulder blades together here. Good. So just broadening across the chest, opening up through the collarbone. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Yeah. The tendency is to hike the ears up as you squeeze but just relax those shoulders and draw uh, just your shoulder blades towards one another. Good. As always, a couple options. You can take your spine up and over your chair. That's just going to add a little bit more openness to the front of the body. And then maybe your arms come to either side. And then maybe your gaze comes gently up towards the ceiling. 
Try not to crank on anything in your neck and continue to move the breath. Breathing into the abdomen, breathing into your pecs, across the chest, up through the neck and throat. Good. Feeling expansion and the gentle stretch with every inhale. And feel the body relax and soften with every exhale. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back. Oh. Return to that starting position, and let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job, you guys. All right, we are done with the trunk, so let's get into our arms now. So we want to start with flexion here at the shoulder. Always a couple options with our hand grip. Fingers in between, tuck over, using the strength of one hand. Stephanie's got this memorized. <laughs> and then you can also do this with one arm. So come back to that starting position. Take the grip of your choice. And as you breathe in, gently lift those arms up and away from the body. Uh, now, as always, feel into your body. Don't worry about necessarily what it looks like. So if your hands are up overhead, relax the shoulders. Make sure there's no pain, no crunching. If there is any of that, we can just back off a little bit. Right? Maybe your hands are at shoulder height. Maybe they're even just up off the lap. That's okay. Wherever you're at in your body, notice the sensation. Breathe into it. If you need to back off, feel free. And then use the breath to maybe deepen the stretch or relax a little bit. All right, nice job, you guys. Wherever you're at, take another breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly bring those arms. Ah. Good. Let those shoulders be nice and heavy. Return to that starting position. And we'll take a breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Let's get into our shoulder blades. So scapular glides. For you guys here in the program, you can place your hands on the table in front of you. For you folks at home, I'm going to turn to the side. So really the flat surface is just to offer a little extra support. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can just pretend that you're sliding your hands along. Really, you're just taking your arms up and away from the body. But if you have the flat surface, place your hands down. We're just trying to get a little bit of motion in the shoulder blades, right? So we can easy, gentle sliding of the scapula. Come on back to our midline. Let's take that breath to reset in through the nose. Oh, now we're going to get into the back of our shoulders here. So once again, here, take a breath in, and then we'll bring our right arm up and across the body. Good, and as always, a couple 
couple options. One, spirit fingers, just pulling that hand across your torso. Two, you can bring your hand to the other shoulder for a little support. And then three, if available, you can use the other hand to gently draw that arm across your body. Good. Keep the breath moving here, slow and steady. If there's any pain, just back off a little bit. Good. When you're up and across the torso. Good. As always, a couple options. One, reach that hand away from you. Two, hand to the other shoulder. And then three, if available, using that free hand to just gently draw the arm into the body. Good. Moving the breath. Softening any tension. Easing into the stretch. Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And exhale slow. Ears and back down. Good. Just... Making sure to go both forwards as well as backwards. Nice. And I don't think we've mentioned this before, but an easy way to support this is to have one hand under the other, right? So maybe using your stronger hand to support the other one, and then you can kind of roll that way. There you go. Nice. Whatever feels good. Tightness. And when you're ready, you'll come on back. Bring your feet flat, have your hips heavy, sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. And what are we doing? Oh, our neck stretches. <laughs> I was so relaxed. Okay, come on back to the midline position, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, gently drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Relax your shoulders on both sides. The weight of the head pour over towards the floor. Feel free to close the eyes if that feels okay. And then just continue to breathe. Breathing into the left side of the neck here. Allowing the tissues to soften. Feeling as the muscles slowly stretch away from one another. And just continuing to release a little more with every cycle of breath. Softly in and softly out. Good. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back to center. Good. We'll go ahead and switch sides once more. Sit up tall, breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Good. Once again, letting everything be heavy. Letting the weight of the head. Or over towards the floor. 
as you breathe into the right side of the neck this time. Watching, feeling as the muscles soften, tissue slowly stretching away from itself. Easing into sensation here, breathing into the stretch. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly drop the chin down towards the chest. And then just start to make small circles here with the head and the neck. Allowing the stretch to travel through all corners of the cervical spine. Breathing softly and slowly. Making sure to switch directions. Reversing the rotation. Evening out the stretch. And continuing to breathe into sensation. Ready, slowly bring that head back in line with the spine. We'll return to that starting position once again. Feet flat, hips heavy, spine long, relax the shoulders. And then we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. Once again, I invite you to close the eyes here. As we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale, through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath. job you guys when you're ready softly blink the eyes open come on back into the space that you're in and that ends my stretches so thank you guys for those of you joining at home thank you so much uh, we will get set up for mindfulness over here hold tight we'll be with you in a second Mindfulness. All right, and I'll get this out of your way, Dan. I can slide this back here. You have enough space, are you okay? All right. All right. All right, so for those of you joining us at home, we are going to get set up for our mindfulness here. All right, timer set. All right, how you doing? Good, Tina? Dan, you doing okay? Yeah? Steffi, you're already in a relaxed position. You ready? <laughs> Stacy, you doing okay? All right. And then Mr. Mr. Michael, you good? All right. Hey, Lou. Sorry, that's okay. Can you guys chat about that after? Cool, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So today we are going to go back to our just one breath. I like to use that one to kind of reset in between all of our other practices. Uh, last week we did our gratitude practice. And this week we will 
return to the breath, right? And it's a, it's a good reminder, I think, for me that, um, you know, to, to practice mindfulness, to give yourself a little bit of a mental break, doesn't require a whole lot, right? We're just, uh, we're just trying to focus on breathing. And so I will, as I always do, offer you guys guidance throughout. And I invite you to just start with the one breath, right? Feeling an inhale, feeling an exhale. And then with your eyes closed, see if you can watch the inhale and then watch the exhale, right? And so it's simple on paper, <laughs> a little harder maybe in practice, but that's why it's a practice. It's why we keep trying, right? There's no failure here. It might look a little different than it did last week. Maybe it seems a little harder today. That's okay. We just keep showing up and we keep trying. So again, as always, I will guide you guys through this. We will have a timer assisting us. We'll hear two bells. The first will indicate that our practice has started and the second indicating that our time has ended. So wherever you're at, find a nice, comfortable position. Try to relax the body. Start to soften the mind. Just allow yourself to be right here, right now. So once again, for the next several minutes, I invite you to just arrive. Allow yourself to show up to this space, to this moment. Without any expectations, without any agendas, give yourself permission to let go. Let go of any worries or fears, any thoughts of failure. Anything that's holding you back or weighing you down, even if just for a few minutes, see if you can put that aside. And if you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Close your eyes, soften your gaze, and allow your awareness to come inside. Turning your attention inward. With your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself.
visualizing, imagining, picturing, however you describe it. Allow yourself to observe yourself. Seeing yourself from head to toe, front to back, side to side, and inside to out. Acknowledging your whole being here, both physical and energetic bodies, many parts, but all connected. Take a soft breath in, and a soft breath out. A soft breath in and a soft breath out. Continue moving the breath slow and steady. And without trying to control it or fix it, allow yourself to observe it. As you're ready, bring your attention to your breath. Noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. Continuing with eyes closed, using your mind's eye. Watch the breath. See it travel into your body on the inhale. And then follow it out of your body on the exhale. Allowing yourself to see it in its entirety. Watching it travel in through the nose, swirl in your throat, pour down into the lungs, and then watch it in reverse. Watch it as it leaves the lungs, back through the throat, out your nose, out your mouth. And just continue in this way. Watching every inhale, watching every exhale. Letting yourself see the breath, feel the breath, sense the breath. And allow yourself to just start with just one breath. See if you can follow for one full cycle as the inhale travels in and as the exhale travels out. Knowing that at, if any point you get distracted or the mind wanders, if your thoughts go elsewhere, that's okay.
Notice the distraction. Acknowledge where your thoughts went. And as quickly as you got distracted, allow yourself to return. Give yourself permission. Come back to the breath. By watching the inhale. And watching the exhale. Watching the inhale. Watching the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continuing to breathe in this way, concentrating on the breath, following the rhythm of every inhalation and every exhalation. Similar to the rhythm of the waves, washing them come up to shore and then watching them wash back out to shore. Waves crashing in and waves washing out. In, out. In, out. you need a more concrete point of focus, someplace on your physical body where you can feel the breath, a place that's affected by the breath, I invite you to find that place for you. Maybe it's the nostrils, feeling the rush of air both in and out. Maybe it's the back of the throat, feeling your warm breath swirl around on the inhale and the exhale. Maybe it's your chest, your rib cage, the lungs, feeling the rise and fall with every cycle of breath in and out. Maybe it's the low belly. Maybe you even allow your hand to rest just below the navel. Feeling your belly jet out on the in breath and then feel it sink back in on the out breath. Wherever this spot is for you, let your focus stay there. Watching the inhale, watching the exhale. Watching the inhale, watching the exhale. Inhale, exhale. Always knowing that at any point, if the mind wanders, if you get distracted, that is okay. Just keep trying.
Give yourself another opportunity to return to the breath. Reconnect with this moment, the present moment. By watching the breath in and watching the breath out. Watching the breath in and watching the breath out. Always coming back to the rhythm of the breath. Following the inhalation. Following the exhalation. Inhalation. Exhalation. And knowing that you can always just start with one cycle of breath. Follow the inhale, follow the exhale. If you get interrupted or lose focus, try again. If you're able to follow the breath for one full cycle, try following for two. If you can follow for two, observe for three. And observe the breath for three cycles. Go for four. And then just keep going. Watching the inhale. Watching the exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Coming into the final few minutes of our practice, I invite you to just continue breathing. I'll let go of my verbal guidance. And we'll hear one final bell indicating that our time has ended. Until then, 
Continue to watch the inhale and watch the exhale. Knowing that at any point, if you lose focus or get distracted, you can always start again. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Start to deepen your breath. To feel back into your body. We wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. We start to wake everything up here in this space. If you wish to stay here, breathing, focusing on the breath, by all means, please do so. Otherwise, as you're ready, when you're ready, softly, slowly, blink the eyes open. Come on back into the space that you're in. Maybe take a couple deep more breaths. <sighs> As always, for those of you joining us virtually, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. We see you out there. We appreciate it. Thank you to you guys here as you start to wake back up. Thank you, as always, for your presence, for your participation. We will be back again for another video this afternoon. Jamie and Alex are continuing with our rehabilitative strengthening. They're doing an awesome job, so they'll be back here live at 1 o'clock. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be back again at 10 o'clock for another morning mindfulness. <sighs> hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to see you at one of those videos. But either way, continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thanks so much.